China says the move is based on lies, violates international law and basic norms governing international relations and severely undermines China-EU relations. Beijing says it will retaliate by sanctioning 10 EU individuals and four entities from the bloc who have harmed China's sovereignty and interests and spread lies and disinformation. So they were decided by the 27 foreign ministers of the 27 EU member states here in Brussels and they are related to four individuals who represent either the security services or the government of Xinjiang as well as one institution and this was a unilateral decision according to the European Council to uh, take these measures and it wasn't just China that uh, saw sanctions brought against them officials from Myanmar Russia Libya as well but certainly the response uh, has been been intense, especially from China. Within the hour, a statement from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs saying that uh, this would damage EU-China relations. In practical terms, what happens now is that the officials listed by the EU are not allowed to hold uh, hold investments in the European Union, are not allowed to do business in the European Union, and cannot travel to the EU. And similarly, the Chinese sanctions against European uh, lawmakers and and European Union officials practically mirror what the EU has done to these Chinese officials.